everyone, it's Kritika. Welcome back to my channel. I am in a brand new country today. I'm in Belgium, in Brussels, the capital city of Belgium, and I am so excited to be here. So I got here yesterday from Amsterdam. I took a train from Amsterdam to Brussels. Uh, thankfully, I have a Eurail pass, which is super convenient if you're doing train travel uh, in Europe. And then I checked into my hotel here, which is beautiful. I'm staying at the Novotel, uh, Brussels city center, and my room, as you can see, is massive and really nice. It's also very nicely located because the main city center is like walkable from here and everything is just happening around this hotel and because I'm here during Christmas time the vibes in the evening were just amazing everything is so beautifully lit up and there are tons of Christmas markets so I sort of got a glimpse of the city yesterday but I'm going to be doing most of the exploring today so I only have one day in Brussels which is today and I feel like one day is sort of enough to explore the city we'll see how it goes I'm starting my day with a walking tour as always so that there is my hotel no hotel and uh, the starting point for the walking tour is like seven minutes away. The weather forecast for today is not that great. It says it feels like minus five degrees right now and uh, it may snow. Although I'm here for the Christmas vibe, so I think if it snows, it'll actually be nice. But uh, this whole tour was organized by GT Holidays, which is a company in India. So if you're planning a trip to Europe, or anywhere in the world actually, you can reach out to them and they can help you plan the whole trip. So I'll leave their contact details in the description, you can check it out. But anyway, rushing to the walking tour now and it is also drizzling. I know the next morning when the sun goes up, it might be the last day. Okay, I don't know how this happened, but I think I lost my group. Uh, there are just too many like travel groups over here. I don't know where my group went. And I'm too afraid to let it go. If I could, I would turn back time. If I could, I would take it all back. If I could, I would bring back all the memories, not just only in my dream. Oh, if I could. Super foggy day, so you can't see anything. But Normally, there's a nice view from here, and you can also see the atomium. You know nothing at all about what's going down. Oh, like a shipwreck, I caught the sail. So just got done with the walking tour and oh my god it is freezing but the tour itself was really nice. To be honest I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoy most walking tours but not because the tour wasn't great. Uh, the guide was really nice, the tour was really nicely planned but A it is freezing, it's just too cold uh, and I can't really feel my toes and my fingers despite wearing gloves and woolen socks. I think this is the coldest day I've experienced ever in the sense that the coldest day where I've actually been out walking around. Uh, otherwise, usually when it's cold, I'm just like indoors. So this is really not the best weather to be here. And secondly, it was also a really large group. Usually walking tours don't have as many people as today's tour did. But I think because it's a Saturday, there's just a lot of people. So there were a few instances where I actually lost the group and I thought I'm not going to find them, but I eventually did. So yeah, that bit was a bummer. But other than that, the tour was actually quite nice. We covered a lot of different spots and I learned a lot about uh, Belgium and Brussels and the history of this place. I didn't actually know that uh, people also spoke French over here. I thought it was just Dutch, but uh, both Dutch and French are official languages in Brussels. But anyway, ended over here at this spot. I don't even know if you can see the tower there in the back. That's the grand place where we started the tour from. Uh, so in Belgium, apart from the sightseeing, I had three or four things that I wanted to try in terms of food and drinks. So first is Belgian chocolate, second is Belgian waffles, third is Belgian beer and fourth is Belgian fries. So hopefully today I'm going to try and cover all of that. And also in the evening, I want to check out the Christmas market again and show it to you because it was amazing. So it's already lunchtime now. Let's go get something to eat. Okay, 
Oh my god, look at that line. Don't know if I want to stand in it for these fries. So picked up some Belgian fries and I got it with this sauce called Andalus which uh, the lady at the counter recommended. Very excited to try this out. So a lot of people online and even the tour guide recommended this place called Tabora for fries and I'm sure it's great but the line outside that place was just way too long and I didn't really want to be wasting my time standing in line. Might try it out later if possible but yeah I just picked this up from this uh, place on the side of the street and let's try these out. Mm. The sauce is delicious and so are the fries. I see why people speak so highly of Belgian fries. So I ended up bringing the fries back to my room because it is freezing outside. It's like minus 2 degrees I think says it feels like minus 5 and just sitting outside and eating without gloves on was not the best idea. Like my fingers feel very frozen. So I'm just gonna finish my fries here and warm myself a bit and then head out. But today is really not like a very outdoorsy weather kind of day. And honestly there isn't that much to do in Brussels. Uh, there are lots of museums so that's a good idea. I'm not really in the mood for a museum right now but I feel like I want to do some shopping and uh, yeah try out like waffles and all these other things as well. There's this other thing here called the Atomium which is sort of like uh, the Eiffel Tower of Brussels so that's something you could check out as well. I'm skipping that because I feel like I mostly just wanted to come here for the Christmas vibes and see what it's like. So I'm really excited for that in the evening. So sufficiently warmed up in my room, wore an extra jacket inside uh, and heading out now to explore the Christmas markets. So this here is my hotel and right in front of me in this lane is this really nice Christmas market which I checked out last evening. So let me show you what it looks like. But there are tons of food stalls, shopping stalls, music, people just singing around and uh, lots of like mulled wine, stuff like that, very Christmassy. So that's my hotel and this is where the Christmas market sort of starts. Literally every street that you walk on over here is so beautifully lit up with Christmas decorations. There's music everywhere and the vibe is just so amazing. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, spend my time running around, keeping people please. So I ended up trying out a ton of these chocolates. They're so good, and I bought like three boxes to take back home. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. You literally look like a balloon in all these layers. Baby, this year is just gonna be So I'm at the main square. This is called the Grand Place and this is where our walking tour started from and this whole place has just transformed at night with all these lights. In fact, all of Brussels just looks so beautiful at night with these Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. So I had no idea this happens but at the grand place in the back there uh, there's a light show that happens every day and I just happened to watch it and it was so magical. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? I really did not need any more beanies but just bought myself a new one from the store. Been long to hold you close, forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to 
The Christmas market was amazing, as you saw. I couldn't really vlog too much of myself talking because of how loud it was, but I ended up trying Belgian waffles from the same place uh, where I wanted to try waffles from earlier today, but there was a really long line, so I didn't have it there. But yeah, the waffles were delicious. Belgian waffles really did live up to their name. And I ended up having some mulled wine, got myself some nachos because I saw nachos and I couldn't resist it. And I kind of just walked around a lot. Let's see how many steps I walked today. 26,000 steps, not as much as I walked the last couple of days, but still quite a lot. Also, it is freezing. I feel like I've said this so many times, but my nose is literally red. I can't feel my nose. But yeah, Brussels has been amazing. I had such a great time. I ended up doing and trying and eating most of the things that I wanted to. Belgian waffles, chocolate, fries. Uh, I haven't had Belgian beer. I'm not a big beer person, but I feel like it's kind of sacrilegious to come to Belgium and not try beer. So I'm still in Belgium tomorrow. So hopefully I'll try it out then. So my plan for tomorrow is to explore Bruges, which is an hour and a half away and has been very high up on my bucket list for a very long time. So very excited to check it out. Uh, so yeah, do subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time from Bruges. Bye.